We talk about X wanting to be the everything app. Uh, this is a new area for them. What have you learned? Well, I think this sort of aligns with this idea that we've heard from Elon that, you know, nothing is off limits really when it comes to X unless it's illegal, right? It's sort of a way I see to differentiate X from some of the other platforms. Now, X has had, you know, not safe for work content. Usually we're talking about pornography, uh, sexual content. It's, ha it's had this for years. It had this well before Elon showed up. It didn't necessarily lean into it in the way that it seems like Elon is is comfortable and willing to do. And again, for me, I see this as a way for him to sort of differentiate X and, 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 you know, hold the flag high that, hey, look, anything goes here. That's been my mantra this whole time. And, and here I am to prove it. Uh, so Kurt, let's, let, just walk me through the methodology of how we learned about this testing and feature, right? This is not something that X has announced. Uh, just just right. bring me your reporting. Sure. So Prep for a fab clip, like sub and chat below. Exploring the boundaries of digital freedom and content moderation, Elon Musk's venture, X, is rummaging through the underbelly of online content, pushing the envelope to what can be called a maverick move in social media landscapes. The recent endeavor to test adult content groups is a significant divergence from X's earlier disposition, a move that reflects Musk's philosophy that nothing is off limits if it doesn't cross the line of legality. Musk's strategy accentuates a clear demarcation from other platforms, which often imposes stricter content guidelines. X's history of hosting not safe for work content isn't new, but Musk's overt willingness to embrace and expand this niche is quite unprecedented. By positioning X as the flag bearer of almost boundless expression, Musk is not just courting controversy, but also baiting a specific demographic, which seeks an unfiltered realm on the internet. The approach to implementing this feature brims with caution, albeit steeped in clandestine testing. Content creators will have the ability to label their communities, but the process is opaque and murky. Age verification mechanisms are a matter of conjecture, conducing towards a gaping concern regarding the accessibility of such content by underage users. Here, Musk's relentless pursuit of liberty on his platform rubs against the critical responsibility to shield minors from content not deemed appropriate for them. X has not openly communicated the functionings of this new feature, leaving the public speculating and experts like myself to piece together information from unofficial sources. This silence seems tactical, avoiding premature backlashes and perhaps buying time to devise a foolproof system that balances freedom and responsibility. With this move, Musk is not just altering X's brand image, but also redefining the vertices of content moderation in social media. While the entrepreneurial spirit is commendable, whether this particular development enriches the platform's value proposition or notches up the need for scrutiny and regulation remains a matter of prolonged observation and heated debate. We watch with bated breath as this saga unfolds, reminding ourselves of the potent power and peril that come with digital freedom. We talk about X wanting to be the everything app. Uh, this is a new area for them. What have you learned? Well, I think this sort of aligns with this idea that we've heard from Elon that, you know, nothing is off limits really when it comes to X unless it's illegal, right? It's sort of a way I see to differentiate X from some of the other platforms. Now, X has had, you know, not safe for work content. Usually we're talking about pornography, uh, sexual content. It's, ha it's had this for years. It had this well before Elon showed up. It didn't necessarily lean into it in the way that it seems like Elon is, is comfortable and willing to do. And again, for me, I see this as a way for him to sort of differentiate X and, and, and you know, hold the flag high that, hey, look, anything goes here. That's been my mantra this whole time. And, and here I am to prove it. Uh, so Kurt, let's, let, just walk me through the methodology of how we learned about this testing and feature, right? This is not something that X has announced. Uh, just just right. bring me your reporting. Sure. So I uh, got a tip from um, a guy, a researcher at Watchful. Uh, he is basically his is, you know, what he does, he goes and he finds unreleased features within these apps. Um, and so he reached out with some screenshots and, and showed us that they're testing this. Uh, the way that it works is that if you're a user that's creating a community on X, a community is essentially just a group, uh, you could go into settings and you could, you know, hit a hit a button that says, hey, this uh, group is going to contain 
adult content or not safe for work content. The group then gets a label to specify that. What we don't know is if they're going to age gate these groups. Um, so X has rules that if you're under 18, you're not supposed to uh, have access to adult content. Uh, presumably that will apply to groups as well. But when we reached out to the company, uh, they declined to comment and, and share any of the specifics with us. Kurt, we just have uh, 15 seconds or so, but just remind me about your book. Oh, thank you, Ed. Uh, Battle for the Bird, the story of Twitter and Elon Musk. It's out right now. Um, it, you know, it explains a lot of, of why we're here right now talking about this. So I hope people will pick it up.